Hey folks, Doc here. Yeah, I still haven't gotten those planted. They are flowering, looking pretty nice. Marigolds are pretty much dead, except for my giants. I need to plant those. That is a sunflower, very small one, but uh, very pretty. Anyway, the uh, potted stuff is not doing well this year. It's diseased somehow. It is not. This is the only tomato that's bearing any fruit at all, and most of it was split when I got back from vacation, rotting on the vine. Still no potato in this particular container. I harvested about four and a half pounds of potatoes out of this one. I hope there's at least another four and a half in there. I hope there's about 10 in here. I haven't even checked this one yet. Um, as far as the herb spiral goes, here's a clue for anybody who might be thinking of growing lemongrass. Uh, lemongrass gets really big apparently. <laughs> It's pretty much covered up my peppermint lemon balm, pushing out the uh, basil. Although basil's fighting back. So are these weeds. I don't know what these are, but they're whoop, invasive. And uh, pretty much everywhere. Let's see. Ah. Does anybody know what that is? If you do, let me know. Um... Holy cow, yeah, they're in there. Oh! There. A little bit cleaned out now. Um, parsley and the chamomile is far enough away and nothing will kill oregano. There's my lavender. It has not done particularly well. It looks like the uh, thyme is holding its own as is the rosemary, uh, but there are, I think, a few rosemary in here under the lemongrass. Uh, I guess they're all doing okay. Uh, I need to get in there. Um, if you remember, I had uh, a few things growing off the side here. Well, without me here every day and making a racket and chasing deer away, guess what happened? Yep, the deer ate everything that was growing on the outside of the fence. Just munched it right off. Butternut squash and all. That's okay though, I've got about six butternut squash growing now. Um, and the seventh in the house that kind of fell off. I think you can see the jalapenos are doing pretty well. Even though they're jammed into that place. But I've got a nice, nice amount of red jalapenos there's some cayenne peppers over here somewhere hello cayenne pepper where are you well, it doesn't matter they're over there believe me the anchos are developing pods but they're pretty small um, I only see one pod so far but I think there will be more carrots well, there's just not enough ground to grow the carrots in. I think they're going to be pretty stubby and misformed, but these are the new pickling cucumber. They look kind of sick, but I'm going to throw a little fungicide on them and see if we can perk them up a little bit. I think they're getting uh, the uh, downy mildew on them as well, or powdery mildew rather. We've got some beets growing now and I planted some more bunching onions. Um, they're coming up but you can barely see them. Um, another variety of beet in here and they're not doing well at all. I see more weeds than beets. But we'll see. It's only been a couple of weeks since they were planted. Although I think in this weather a couple of weeks should be plenty of time. The tomatoes are not doing well. The uh, pumpkin is getting powdery mildew and just croaking off one leaf at a time but, but I do have two pumpkins I'll show you later you can see we've got some cherry tomatoes on here and uh, 
when I came back these were all split too. But I think these are a new crop so hopefully they'll do better. The beans have just gone absolutely berserk after I thought they were dying. Um, from, I don't know what's going to happen with that. The straight eight cucumbers have finally succumbed to powdery mildew and they're probably pretty close to croaking off so I think I'm going to rip that out before it ruins the rest of the garden. The sunflowers are doing rather nicely, although they do seem to be falling over, but hopefully we won't get any rainstorms. I gotta figure out when to harvest these things or if I need to cover the heads. So I have a feeling just about the time these are ready to harvest, the birds are gonna come in. The three, three sisters look like three old maids. They're sort of sitting there dying. The asparagus looks great. Um, next year, I think I'm gonna be able to harvest. The Anaheim peppers are fantastic. Um, I don't know how easy it is for you guys to see that. I can barely see it in the viewfinder, but um, it looks like I've got some nice fruits on there. And we're just going to let those go to town. And hopefully, now these two plants don't have any peppers on them yet. Oh, that one does. There's one fruit on this one. Um, but now you look down here, and you can see these are the Cal, uh, Golden Calla Wonders, and they're doing okay. We've got some fruits on there. Uh, still haven't gotten those out. It's really looking dreadful. There's an onion seed head. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, I should show you my pumpkin. He's right, one right there, and then another one of a similar size over here. And let's see, do we have any? No, we don't have any. No visitors to the sunflowers. Oh, look at that. There's a second sunflower. Whoa, this one has three. That's interesting, I've never seen that. It's a mutant sunflower. I'll have to collect seeds off that one. It's probably, actually, it probably won't because the seed head is, the head's really small on that. It's probably not worth collecting. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. There are a couple bees up on that flower. Strawberries are doing nicely. And uh, pretty much that's it. The garden is starting to die off. It's uh, got, the, got the August cruds. We have one other um, watermelon that's awfully misformed. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to that one, but it wasn't nearly as nice as the other. Thankfully, my neighbor got the other one. I'm very, actually quite glad about that. I had told him to pick it if it looked like it was going to uh, rot on the vine. And so he did, and uh, hopefully that was good. Now, here are my wonderful blueberries. Guess what happens when you uh, leave for two weeks on vacation and it rains a lot? It washes off the liquid fence and the deer come by and start munching. I hate deer. Oh well. There you go saying oh well again. Anyway. And there you go saying, saying anyway again. Well. I need to get back at it. Actually I need to put stuff away. I've got to take my daughter to somewhere so I don't have time to finish the lawn. I'll do that tomorrow. Compost piles are growing. My list of projects for fall are getting bigger. I'm kind of hoping that that lemongrass doesn't come back at the end of the, or at the beginning of next year. I kind of hope it freezes out because if it does, I will probably um, remove that, or not remove it, but uh, 
dig the corpse out and then buy another one and put it elsewhere, maybe by itself in a pot or something. Um, I've made tea out of this and it is phenomenally good. Really, really enjoyable. I can hardly wait to do some cooking with it. But, well, there you have it. That's, that's my garden in all of its glory and death and rebirth, I suspect, and everything else. It's been a good, good garden this year. Getting a lot of beans out of it, getting a lot of butternut squash, a fair few pickling cucumbers and regular cucumbers. Looks like the uh, chilies are gonna come out anyway, despite how, how they started. The only thing that was sad this year, really, the thing that disappointed me most, other than the sweet corn, was uh, the tomatoes. But, again, that was my fault. So, live and learn. That's what we're here for. Have a great day, folks.